Hi guys and thanks for joining me in my latest video. This video is 5 things on eBay I as a reseller dislike. So I've made some notes and got 5 things I dislike as a reseller on eBay. So what I'll be doing is reading off the screen and sharing you my points. So here goes. First point is items that go missing in the post and trying to claim for the missing items. So for example, you may send 10, 15 items a day or, or more, big, small, square, rectangular items, whatever packaging you use. Say for example, you may use Royal Mail, My Hermes, DPD, all that jazz. And a week later, a, set, um, a buyer may come with a question on eBay saying, where is my item for so-and-so? It's not arrived yet. You're like, oh. It should have arrived. I sent it first class sign for or second class sign for. I should have got there in time. And then they may, for example, open up an item case, which you've got to deal with that. And you've got to also deal with whatever company you use, try and get your money back, your refund, your claim, which can be really hard. It uh, really annoys me. Luckily, touch wood, fingers crossed, and that only happened to me once. So that's really annoying. I think I can't stand as a reseller. Um, second point is people. Who agree a price for an item then they don't pay till you open a case so some people have got the automatic payment on their ebay setup and they have to pay within some amount of hours otherwise open the case straight away i don't do that because i kind of tr trust in person sort of thing trust people to pay i've had a few times when people don't pay for days and days and days you message them and nothing and then you think right i'll, I'll give it three days and then I'll open a case, for example. And then within five hours, they're paid. Why can't you pay straight away? Fair enough. Sometimes they may be busy or have kids or gone away on a work trip, for example. But you you always got five minutes to go onto the eBay app, pay for your item. If, if, if you've forgotten, pay for your item. It only takes five minutes to do so. And then you can get your item shipped out to whatever address it you've set up anyway and you get it as soon as you can um third point i thought about is people giving you silly offers on your items so i've got 50 p's two pound coins and one pound coins on my ebay right and all those um have had silly offers like 10 pound offers five pound offers people saying okay would you accept this would you accept that i'm like well i'm thinking not really i've got to make a profit and that but sometimes I just reject just to get rid of them. And, and sometimes I counter with a good counter and a little message to say, this is what I'll go to. I've got to make a profit. It's, it, it's also a good bargain for you for the amount of coins, da, 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 stuff like that. And then they still come in with counter offers and or, or reject. If, if you want something for nothing, then you, you don't come to me for example you know what i mean <sighs> that really annoys me but yeah hey fourth point is people not reading the title and description properly or not at all and asking you silly questions so two points this fourth point is people not reading the title and description properly or not at all so you may have so for example a bundle of games you're selling off ps2 games you're selling off and you've got PS2 games and title and what some of them are. Da, 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 da. And then you've got the description, what it is, get games, manual, bit of scratching, good disc, um, good um, cases, for example. And, and quite a lot of people would just read PS2 and just, just go and check, check the pictures and just go, oh, that'll do. And then they don't read it properly or not at all. And then they think, oh. And then when they get it, they think, that's not what I ordered or what I wanted. And then they open a case. And you've got to deal with that. Read the description properly and the title. Do not just go through and go, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. And be like that. Just read it properly and know what you're buying. So you know what you're going to get. And also, don't ask stupid questions comparing to what the title and the description is. Because us as resellers can't be bothered to keep messaging you saying, well, this is already in the description, da 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 da. Because us as resellers, we've got to be careful what we say to say to people. 
because eBay check all messages, for example. So you've got to be polite, basically saying, hi, sound so, all your information you need, you're wanting via the question you've asked is in my description. Hopefully you've got all the information you needed and you're going to accept the bid or you're, you're going to buy the item, for example. Hope to hear from you soon. Yeah, just some nice something like that after someone asked you a silly question about what's in the what's already in the description title. Number five is other sellers and their dodgy packaging on items that you need to get an item working to resell it. So say for example we've got like an item you, you need I don't know that not that um you need bits and pieces for some things you need like a Game Boy Advance, you need the, the back, sometimes the back of the game, uh, the Game Boy Color, I should say, is, is missing. Or you, you may need something to extend to something else, or basically bits and pieces for your items. Uh, and you go, oh, that's what I need, buy it off, off, off eBay, for whatever price you do. And then it comes to you, and you're like, oh, well, that's a bit naff, or broken. Because I've had that recently, in the last month. I ordered some PS1 games. I had some PS1 games to resell. Some of the cases were not. They were so bad. I couldn't even get photographs of, of, of them. So I ordered some more cases quite cheaply off eBay. From a UK reseller. Uh, and, that, and they came. Royal Mail had to package the items again. And even a pa their packaging didn't do justice. It was so bad in fact that. Uh, I, I couldn't even use, I used one of the cases, one case was okay, rest of the five were broken smithereens basically, cracks, rips and, and that. So I messaged the seller and I managed to get half my money back after a few messages, being polite and that and all that. So it's worth, as a, as a seller, reseller, packaging your items as good as you can get and, and if you can't kick your items around your living room playing football with them then your, your items are not packaged well you, you know what I mean because as couriers they it feels like they go 90 minutes flat out with, with your items on a football pitch you know what I mean kick it about jump lob it in the, the, the van for example so yeah so they're just five things on eBay that I dislike as a reseller so hopefully you've gained some information on there. Do let me know down in the comments below what five things you dislike as a reseller. So we'll be interested to know what you dislike as reselling on eBay as a reseller. Because I do try and read all comments and reply to as many as I can. And that. Please do give this video a thumbs up, a like, share this video and subscribe. Hit that notifications bell in the top corner. And also... Um, turn those notifications on so you get notifications to all my videos that come out in the future and once again thanks for watching and i'll see you later have fun